With your local and area news this morning, this is Justin Mott. Well, good Friday to everyone. Well, good Friday morning to everyone. Local schools are out for Shelby County, except for Tenaha. Tenaha will have an early release, though, today. And in other news, the Shelby County Commissioner's Court will have a meeting on April the 4th at 9.30 a.m. Coming up next Monday, the City of Joaquin is going to have a City Council meeting at 3 p.m. And going on this morning in Center, there's going to be a medical expense bake sale. Start Starting at 9 a.m. this morning on the downtown Center City Square. The expense sale is to help pay for expenses for 12-year-old Mikey Hughes, who had a brain tumor removed. April is going to be Child Abuse and Awareness Prevention Month. Denise Merriman, Director at the Shelby County Children's Advocacy Center, and Anna Register, Forensic Investigator with the Advocacy Center, tell us more. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Thank you for helping raise awareness of this important issue. We are blessed to have an advocacy center in Shelby County. We have seen a remarkable time of advancement for the CAC, marked by continued growth, increasing sophistication, and widening affirmation of this proven approach. When abuse is discovered, the CAC can bring the child victim together with trained professionals and help the child and their families through this process. The staff and board truly appreciate our community's commitment to stand side by side with us as we fight to tackle this ever-present challenge of child abuse as we bring safety, justice, healing, and restoration to its victims. The future is ours to win together. In school news, Katie Casey from Shelbyville ISD has won first in powerlifting for the fourth year in a row for her weight class. She tells us how it feels. It feels good to win state again for the fourth time. I would like to thank everybody that was there to support me. I'm glad to be a part of the Shelbyville Dragons. Kwan McCohen, also from Shelbyville ISD, won third place for boys powerlifting in his weight class. He tells us how it feels. Uh, it really feels good to place third in powerlifting. You know, I could have did better, but... You know, things are the way it is. I want to say that I'm proud to be a show of a dragon. I would like to thank everyone out there who supported me, my school, my family, everyone. Just thank you very much. And in sports news, the Center Rough Rider Boys baseball team will have a game this afternoon at 2 p.m. versus the Henderson Lions. It will be a home game. Now that game is going to be broadcast live on KQBB 100.5 FM. That's KQBB 100.5 FM. And also streaming live on our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. And in weather, current temperature around 50 degrees and sunny here in Center. This has been Justin Mott with your local and area news. For more news, check out our Facebook page at KQBB Real Country on Facebook. This has been Justin Mott with your local and area news, wishing everyone a good Easter.